Hey guys, this video is one of the most important videos that you will watch for your YouTube channel. We are going to discuss how to revive a YouTube channel that has declining views or maybe has already died. This channel died last year, but I achieved to bring it back. So when I started this channel in 2022, I saw a fast growth in the first few months, which was great, but then there was a sharp decline in the views that I couldn't prevent and by the end of 2022, my channel had died. This situation is very demotivating and can lead many people to quit YouTube. I'm creating this video because I want to show you that there is a fight back option if the same thing happens to your channel. So instead of quitting YouTube, I determined a new strategy which led my channel to success. In December 2022, exactly one year ago, before I applied the new strategy, I was getting only around 400 views in a complete month, while in November 2023, which was last month, my channel reached about 23,000 monthly views and keeps increasing. Now you think about it, the amount of views my channel got last month is around 60 times more than what it got last year. So what is this strategy? Why my channel died? And how did I achieve to bring it back? We're gonna talk all about this in this video. By the way, I also have a newsletter if you wish to subscribe, it's completely free. Before we talk about the strategy, you need to understand why YouTube channels can die and is your channel also at danger? Well, firstly, there can be multiple reasons why channels lose their views, but it usually happens when YouTube stops recommending your videos. The YouTube algorithm is not only influenced by your video's click-through rate, audience retention, and watch time. These are important metrics, but there are also many other things that can influence the algorithm's behavior to decide about our videos. That's why we need to build a strategy for your videos that are kinda independent from the YouTube's recommendation system. Another reason why channels can die is related to the number of successful videos they have. Let's say you have 30 videos published on your channel and YouTube recommends, let's say, two of your videos to thousands of people. And with these two videos only, your channel gets the majority of your views and the subscribers since they are recommended the most on your channel. However, at some point, if YouTube stops recommending these two videos, then what happens? Your channel dies, right? And that was exactly what happened to my channel. YouTube stopped recommending my successful couple of videos and my channel quickly died. That simple, that fast. So to prevent it, you need to create, you need to have multiple successful videos that will bring views to your channel, not maybe one or two. And the next important question is, is your channel in danger as well? Well, we hope that it will never happen, but it actually happened not only to small channels, but also to large channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. If they do wrong things, even the large channels can lose huge amount of views and die, no matter how many subscribers they have. And if even the large channels can die, small channels like ours with less than 1000 subscribers are definitely at a great risk. So at this point, this strategy can protect us all from this kind of a danger and greatly reduce the risk of our channels to die. So the name of this strategy is creating searchable videos. YouTube is also a search engine. When you search something on YouTube, the results are listed from top to bottom. And these videos here have a longer lifespan, which can last from months, maybe even years after publishing, as long as people are searching for, let's say, this term. The important detail here is trying to rank your video at the top of the list so that people can find it easily. And once your video ranks high, it stays there for a very long time, as you can see here. To achieve this, you still need to create videos with as high click-through rate and good amount of watch time as possible so that YouTube can rank your videos at the top of the list. But there is also a disadvantage here of this strategy. While searchable videos have a longer lifespan, it takes time for YouTube to rank your videos at the top of the list and start getting a lot of views. When you publish a new video and if your channel is small, then YouTube does not have enough data to figure out its relevancy yet. So it will not rank your video immediately at the top of the list. Instead, the algorithm will start testing your video gradually. Later, based on the test results, if people really show interest in your video, then over time, your video starts to be listed higher and higher, so it will start getting more and more views, but not immediately after publishing it. That's why my channel didn't immediately start growing, as you can see in this graph. My channel grew quite slowly, 
but steadily in the first seven to eight months of this year. So if you apply this strategy, you need to be patient for your channel to see some good results. However, something interesting happened when we reached September. Starting from September, as you can see, a rapid growth began on my channel because YouTube started to recommend my videos again, not just in search results, but also in suggested videos and on the homepage, which I was not expecting. And since the impressions of my videos increased significantly, my channel moved from a slow growth phase to a rapid growth phase. And this is how the strategy saved my channel and bring it back this year. So what can we learn from this experience is the following. If you don't want to put your channel in danger, instead of rushing and aiming for a fast growth quickly, creating a strategy for a long-term growth can help your channel to have a healthier and a more steady growth. So if you also decide to apply this strategy that I use for my channel, I will give you some tips for making searchable videos in the right way and we're going to talk about them in the next video. If you have any questions or opinions about this strategy, feel free to comment down below. I wish you all a happy new year in advance and see you guys later in the next video.